See that flying pig? Okay, that flying pig, what does it have in common with baby boomers? Absolutely nothing, but the flying pig has something in common with me, which is I am not a baby boomer. <laughs> I'm not a flying pig either. I'm here to set the record straight about the misclassification of my generation. And hear me out, those who want to resent baby boomers. I was born in 1963. Woodstock was in 1969. I was six. If you were 16, you could have gone to Woodstock. Isn't that a complete difference? I was a little kid during the 60s and all that free love and acid dropping. Doesn't that make a big difference? Here's another big difference. I danced to new shoes. All that great 80s music. So I did not dance to Jimi Hendrix or Janis Joplin. Uh, Joni Mitchell I listened to because she was such a good guitarist. But by then she was already a, a full on adult. There's a lot of differences. Um, there's actually a name for us. Generation Jones, which sucks. But who are we? We are actually, they say here in this article, born between 55 and 65. Now, I was married to somebody who was born in 1954, and initially there wasn't such a big deal, but after a while, there was such a huge difference in who we were based on our music, based on the way we reasoned, based on our values, based on how we raised children. He was still in, in the category of, um, you do as I say, and I was more in the you bring a child's um, gifts and abilities out. You help them out with their their decision making. You, you, you're there to help them. You're not there to like boss them around. And he was more in the listen to what I say and do it do do as I do as I tell you. And I was like, no, you have to understand kids. So I had kids in eighty nine and ninety, which makes them millennials, I suppose. But I. They seem more like Gen Xers to me. So what's Gen X? Gen X years. So the Gen X was born between 65 and, and 1980. I'm much more of a Gen X. I was born in 63, motherfuckers. So those people who keep saying, boomer, 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 I'm actually quite tired of it. I can take it in good humor because I see that they've been misguided and because of their generation, they haven't looked into it much or given it much thought because apparently it's much easier to blame somebody for your hardships in life and your interest rates and your inability to buy a house than it is to actually take a look at what that person went through. So I find a lot of disgruntledness amongst people who, who put me in my generation which wasn't even a boomer. Boomers were in 46. You know what a huge difference it was between 46 and, and, and 56? Huge, huge. They were the hippies. They did the drugs. They did the free love. We all knew better than that by then. <laughs> and it's like, we're getting all the resentment and none of the bennies. So whatever the benefits are, okay. So then Gen X was born between 65, um, and then the millennials were born between 81 and 94. So here's the deal though. My son and daughter were born in uh, 89 and 90. So they're considered millennials, but they don't act like it. They were raised by two parents that divorced and then they had partners and my kids were raised by a boomer half the time. And then they were with their dad, who is a simpleton whose family was born in Ohio that didn't have much going on in his brain, but other than 
Uh, he knew where his dick was. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. So God bless him. That's the, that's the father of my children. And I love him for that. But it, I didn't realize that he didn't have much depth to him. Uh, because at the time I must not have either. And when you're young, I was in my 20s and he was three years older than me, you don't always make the best decisions. You don't always think right. And that's what I'm telling you, people, is that if a person in their 20s, in their early 30s, they might still think this, that I'm a boomer and they treat me like I'm a boomer with disdain. Like that's what boomers are given disdain by these generations they came after. It's like, why? What did I do to deserve this? So let me let me give you the the um, quiz for Are You a Generation Jones? And Generation Jones, uh, that terminology I believe came from a book writer um, because he's also disgruntled by being disgruntled upon. Like, why are we <laughs> blame for things when? The boomers who are way older than us are the ones that are really the boomers. Well, if that's what you want to call them. And all generations have a name. If you do your own little search and go in their generations in their categories, you'll find out all kinds of, of names. And the ones that are born now are called Alpha. Like it's the Alpha and the Omega. <laughs> it's the beginning and the end. Okay, whatever. And who are they anyway doing this categorization? Have you thought about that? Have you thought about how we're all being played? It's like, here's another way for people to not like each other. Let's be hating on the boomers, which I am not. I am not a boomer. Again, I was six when uh, the people were doing the free love. I was six. In 1969 with Woodstock, I was six, okay? Did you get that? Did I say it enough? My God. And because there's no other category for us to be in, we can't be called a Gen X. And That's kind of a cool name, but at the same time, you know, X marks a spot. Then they did X, Y, Z, but then they didn't do Y. They did Millennial, and then they did Gen Z. Like the Millennials... We're called the millennial, but they're really Gen Y. Like, why X, Y, Z? Why did they go boomer X, Y, Z? And now they're into alpha. <laughs> yes, I'm serious. So if you're like me, born in 63 or so, and you're sort of fed up with the whole categorization of you into boomer category and the lack of personal identity, the music was different. <laughs> classic rock was classic rock when I was growing up, okay? <laughs> it wasn't rock. Oh, man, we had our own bands, but hey, new shoes. Let me play this one again. I can't wait. <laughs> And we dance differently. We dance differently. Okay, here's the quiz. Are you GJ? Are you Generation Jones? Question. What did Brooke Shields have between her and her Kelvins? I know this one. I knew this one. Class. This is a class on what a Generation Jones is. We are not boomers. And aren't you tired of being called one? I am. Well, not tired. It's more of, I've lost my patience. It's running thin. I am not a boomer any more than pigs have winks. <laughs> okay. This is my piggy bank. It has winks. 
I'll have to show you my magic bank sometime in the future. I've got a magic bank. It just keeps filling in. My answer is nothing. What? And then that's what she would say in the commercial. Nothing becomes, nothing comes between me and my Kelvins. And yes, you guys might put piercings on you, but I went underwearless. We didn't burn bras because I didn't wear one. <laughs> All right. The three big Jen Jonesers mid eighties music culture were born in 58. Name them. All right. These three were born in 58. Thriller, Michael Jackson, Madonna, and Prince. Okay, so Prince and the Revolution. Here's 1985 music. Raspberry Beret, man. We loved it. I gotta raise you up a little bit because my head's getting chopped off, and I'm not enjoying. The, I'm not enjoying the feeling. Oh, let's put you up here. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. I like that. That'll do. That'll do. Ah, that was the official music video. I didn't really like that. That's not a good one. See, so we did not grow up listening to... 60s rock. We grew up listening to 80s because in the 80s, I graduated high school in the 81. All my music, my formative years, completely different from the boomers. All right. Question number two was, uh, the, who were the three music culture icons that were born in 1958? Michael Jackson, uh, Madonna, and Prince. Okay. There was one song, overwhelmingly, that always played at the high school dance across America in the 70s. <laughs> this one may have been old rock. Can you guess what it was? Stairway to Heaven. Stairway to Heaven was written, year written. between 70 and 71. So that was old rock. Do you follow me? So the boomers that were born in like, that were uh, 10 years older than me, they would have been 17. That would have been a band on the, uh, that they would have heard from the get go. They would have listened to that album. They would have put the LP on an actual turntable. <laughs> Instead, that was our classic rock. That's the difference. Led Zeppelin was our classic rock. It was the boomers rock, current rock. It was their pop music, not pop music, but pop music was a term. I don't know when that came. Uh, I don't feel like going into that because that's way too many subjects for, if, if any of you aren't uh, Jen Jones and you're from the short attention span generations, you haven't even followed any of this. <laughs> yeah, I'm making fun of you. All righty. It was Stairway to Heaven. That was the one song that played at most high school dances across America. Uh, Joneses were the first generation of kids with video games. We were the first ones with video games. The boomers weren't. We were. We. Yes. And it started off with what? Can you name it? No, it wasn't Pac-Man. No, it wasn't Gunk Donkey Kong. It was Pong. And here's a cool little factoid for you. My father worked for an engineering firm and another department actually uh, was were developing this toy and he came home with it and it was boring. We didn't like it because it wasn't real. So we went outside and played with a real ball. All right, what was the name of the classic mall? Um, that, at, what was the, bleh, that which was the epicenter of Valley Girls? <laughs> Valley Girls was a movie. Year released. 
Valley Girls was 1983. Oh, that's Valley Girl. No, 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 no. Oh, that was 1983. Wow. I forgot about that. Okay. Well, I'm thinking about Clueless. Clueless year released. Okay, Clueless is different. I got the two mi mixed up. Clueless was a 1995 movie. Valley Girl was a 1983 film. And that's when they came up with, it's really fun, but you, you'd, uh, you'd have fun with that. <laughs> and, then, and then Frank Zappa did a song, Valley Girl. Oh my God, okay, that's a whole other subject. Let's get back on track. Focus, focus. My kids always thought I had um, adult attention deficit disorder, but I really don't. My mind just works quickly because I'm not a boomer. I'm Generation Jones, which is a stupid name, but it's better than being a boomer. Okay, it was the Galleria. That's the name of them all. And it also be, was featured in the movie Fast Times at Ridgemont High. So Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That came out when I was Fast Times at Ridgemont High, year released. Fast, and we saw it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to see it. She actually is the same person that made um, Clueless. Ridge Mont High Year Released. What does it say? 1982. Okay. So we, <laughs> director Amy Heckerling, and then she went on to do um, Clueless. She's amazing. Okay. Back on track. So, which Joneser, meaning the person born in my generation, not a boomer, played the role in the made-for-TV movie, The Boy in the Plastic Bubble? And I didn't know this one because I didn't really watch much television. I'll just cut to the chase. John Travolta. And then what was the rumor about Mikey from the Life Serial TV commercial? Do you even know the Life Serial TV commercial? You would if you were part of my generation. <laughs> it's called Mikey Life Serial TV Ad. Um, we would do this. We would drink Pop Rocks and drink soda. I didn't, but the boys did, my classes did. So that was the rumor that circulated amongst us. Not true, but apparently it's made it in this test. I don't remember any of that. I grew up in a different place okay three movies within this this is this i know three movies with ensemble generational casts were released at the same time in the mid 80s okay so the big chill was for the boomers the breakfast club was for the xers what about us so they were all released at the same time and they were marketed towards different people. The big chill was for the boomers. And the breakfast club was for the Xers. I never could relate to it. Ours was St. Elmo's Fire. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. Cotter was on television when I was growing up. And uh, the Sweat Hogs. John Travolta was in this too. Barbarino, Epstein, Boom Boom, and Horshack. I think Horshack was the Jew. So it was like a Latino, a doofus, uh, a black guy, and a Jew. Did I say that? <laughs> Which Jen Jones actress in what movie inspired the torn sweatshirt, bare shoulder, leg warmer look? Class. Class. The movie Flashdance had what actress? Jennifer Beals. Clearly, clearly, we are not boomers. I'm not going to try to prove it to anybody too stupid to figure it out for themselves or too indignant or too, like, invested emotionally in blaming an entire 18 years uh, in which there was a complete difference between somebody born in 1946 and somebody born in 1963. Okay. <laughs> because of all the different changes 
All right, let me talk to you without my computer. I'm gonna actually turn this thing uh, to not internet and turn off my little gizmo so I don't get zapped. I use one of these. Keeps me on a data diet so I don't use too much data. And then it says, goodbye. It's like working whether they're with AI, I work with something that actually says goodbye to me. <laughs> like the credit card machine when it says, you're approved. And I'm always like, huh. Oh, I feel so affirmed now. And I'm not asking for people to affirm me. I'm not, especially those that have resentment towards the boomers. No, <laughs> there's no need to affirm, none whatsoever. I know what I am. I know what I'm made from. I don't need them to uh, define me or even the person that defined the generation Jones to define me, but it gives me vindication that there is a complete misclassification of us. Okay, for instance, we watched the Brady Bunch and the Partridge family. We were too old for Sesame Street, okay? Sesame Street wasn't a thing for us. We didn't grow up with it because we were too old for it. And um, we grew up with the oil embargo, Watergate, rising inflation, unemployment. And the year my classmates had to sign up for the draft because they had done away with the draft and the boys had to sign up for the draft. And I remember that. I remember them talking about it because everybody was very close. We're not late boomers. We don't even belong to the boomer generation. Like pigs have wings. We don't belong in there. We don't want to leave it to beaver. Uh, my p husband who was born in 1954 would make television references all the time to things I didn't know anything about. We were worlds apart. He made generations to Groucho Marx, Laurel and Hardy, Lucy, I'm home. I mean, we didn't watch any of that shit. We didn't watch Leave It to Beaver. That was on the old tiny station. <laughs> we, we didn't watch it. So there's a lot to be different. That, that's a, that, there's a lot that's different. Oh, and by the way, President Kennedy's, Kennedy's assass assassination, whenever he was assassinated, they played that thing over and over and over again on television. Over and over again. It was awful. It was almost as if every year he was assassinated. And oh, as an aside, my siblings and I used to do this thing. Uh, we would go to the mirror, the window, and turn it into a mirror at night. And we had sliding glass doors. And so we would pull back the curtain and you'd look at it and we'd spook ourselves out because the whole idea was to look at it long enough until your face turned into Kennedy and you turned your head and then you could see all the blood and guts while the brain's coming out. <laughs> yes, indeed. So that's all for now. I, I, I will make a case of, on it in the future, perhaps a little bit more coherently. I just do this together without really thinking. I started in on a beer, which I'm going to enjoy now. We grew up without um, the cap lifted off of beer. In other words, we drank beer that was like 3.0%. You, you guys, your generation growing up with these microbreweries and all these delicious beers, we didn't have that. I became a vegetarian at 17. They didn't have packaged foods ready to go. It was such a hardship. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, folks, later.